right guys, so welcome to the 2024 Transport Show here at the Overland Kings booth. But what we're gonna show you today is what we have built specifically for the Transport Show. So what we have here today is we shrunk all of our Overland rigs into three main rigs basically primarily that's here. One on my right is the new Jimny three-door. No, not new, newly built by Overland Kings. And on the left side is our Jimny five-door. So after this video, if you haven't seen the five-door video, do, do click on the link maybe below and somewhere in the screen, I'll just pop this up. But you click it out and check it out. And But we're gonna do our rig walk around for both of these rigs to show you what we have for the transport show. So here we go. So the 2021 Jimny three-door that we have here is for a friend of ours named A. <laughs> that, that's also close to us and what we wanted to build for him was something that he could use when he's shooting because he does a lot of his videos and he's also a content creator. So what we have done is we wanted to fit the lifestyle of the Jimny into his lifestyle which includes also like motorcycles, basically an active lifestyle that you know we want to reflect on the Jimny. So let's start with the exterior. First of all, everything on the outside and the paint is done by Injengo. So thank you, Injengo. We've done a custom clear uh, foil on the main color of the Jimny. Uh, gloss black underneath. And what's on top is a white colored paint from Injengo. Let's move on to the side and see what we have. On the wheels, we're running the Evo Course or Evo Corse or how you want to call it depending where you are. 16 inch at gunmetal gray that's wrapped around Toyo RT tires. So Toyo RT is one of the most quiet tires that you can run for the Jimny because it is a hybrid tire. Pairing that up is a 40 millimeter lift from OME, uh, which is also paired up with the right uh, load rating coils for the springs to take on the weight of the Jimny. Together with that, underneath all the caster correction bushings have been done, and we also have installed the pan hard to align the Jimny properly. Okay, so that wraps it up for the suspension and tires. While we're here, let's take a look at the lights. So what we have here is a custom Overland Kings touch. This is the new PA 530s that we have mounted to the original fitting of the bumper. So what that does is you will have a yellow and white light. That looks like your fog light, but it's actually quite brighter. On the top, we have our Jimny grill mount that we put another six inch uh, LED light bar uh, from the Jimny with a custom, custom mounting of our Overland Kings badge because this is what we want to do. This is uniquely ours, uniquely our style, uniquely Filipino, uniquely Overland Kings. Let's move on to the top. On the top, we are running the 180 degree Mammoth Switchblade awning paired up with the LED lights that can do orange, white, and both. And it is mounted to the Jimny crossbars that's uh, specific for the Jimny uh, without, a, without a roof rack because it could already take the weight. We're running three of those and it is a freestanding awning that's paired with that. So uh, it's freestanding but we have put up the poles for now just to give a little bit of a headroom but without it, it will work. Let's go to the back. On the rear part of the Jimny is where things get a little bit more interesting. What we have here, can I pull it down or not? It's an emu wing, gull wing, that we've created a custom box for Aaron to charge his gear. The drone batteries can all be plugged into the system and all the lights are done here so you can turn off, turn on the lights, rear lights, front lights, all of course custom wired by Overland Kings. Let's go to the back. Finally, in the back, we have a rear drawer system where you can put all of the other gears that you have completely organized. All of the fittings, we're using stock Jimny mounts so we didn't put much holes into the Jimny. Uh, we're using a board and just wrapping it together with our custom touches. And finally, on the right side, we have fitted a freezer to get your cold drinks if you're out in the mountains. On the top is a fridge slide or in this case, we've made it into a coffee bar slide so that you could just put anything and use this space as, you know, as your tambayan. But what's nice about this layout that we've done is you can see on top of me, this is the roof tent. And the roof tent perfectly fits the swing out door. In short, the door can close and open even when the roof tent is deployed. But if you can see why we're able to do that, we have changed the gas struts to open 90 degrees. So that actually makes perfect sense for this layout. So now you suddenly have a 270 degree awning completely for shade and if it's time to go take a nap in the middle of nowhere watch out Zeke you can easily head up your tent and uh, call it a night that rounds up the Jimny build of this three-door Suzuki Jimny well 
welcome to the Jimny XL 5 door. And when we say it's XL, that means I fit in the back, literally. <laughs> so what you have here, we're in our lounge. And what, what we've done is Japanese style. <laughs> so what we have here is the interior. We'll start with the interior we're already here of the Jimny 5 door. And what we've done is we wanted to use certain things that are available already with you in your house that you already have like this power pack underneath that's uh, running all the lights in this car and also with custom switching for you that's still still overland kings in a way right underneath is we have a custom platform that we built for this jimny so that you could lounge like that when you know you're just chilling around as we, we pan out to be able to see that we have eliminated the second row from the Jimny five door which creates a good lounge space for this vehicle in the back interior wise we also created a small drop down table and uh, what this what this does is you'll be able to put up your trash bag or your drinks or any other little trinkets when you're out in the field if you will see the concept of this Jimny is quite different because what we wanted to do is create a Jimny that you could use as a ground deployment unit so one of the things we've added is, later on, we'll quickly pan here. We've added a trailer to go with this Jimny. It's designed to work together. So with that in mind, it changes the concept of how we built this Jimny. Let's start with the exterior. First off, the exterior has a custom decal, of course, from Overland Kings with our logo OK here in the back. And it is a Moto Moto wrapped halfway. This is the original color. Underneath is a custom wrap design that we have designed for the five-door Jimny. Of course, Overland King's decals all over as we go. And let's check out the front. The theme for this vehicle is we wanted to keep it a clean colorway. So everything blue and everything black underneath. So what you can see here is we have custom wrapped the grill to match the color of the car. And also the side mirrors have been matched to, to color match the vehicle. Of course, underneath, all the PIA things that you could put on. We have a nudge bar that's exclusive here at Overland Kings. We also have this uh, LED light bar, which with a PIA light bar, and also the PIA LP530s that would fit on the fog light housing of the Jimny. Of course, a little bit of trimming here and there, but basically it'll work. <laughs> Moving on, custom decal out fender grill decals from Overland Kings. Something unique to us. And, and we have cleared out all the turn signals and the sides to make it give you that European feel. Let's move on to the top. The roof rack is a front runner roof rack that's specifically designed for the Jimny 5 door. And on the side, we're still in a test product. It is a pull out auto retracting awning that you can just pull out and pull in automatically, basically giving you that smaller profile for the awning. The rest are just little things that we added. We have a, a Bush Tech uh, carry box in the top. We have max tracks. And finally, the portable water system on the left side, which is actually powered up, meaning you'll be able to turn it on and off without using an external uh, air pump to use your portable water. Let's talk about wheels and tires. We have put in rock lights to serve as our camping lights for this vehicle. And it's powered by our second battery. So that means you can turn that on the whole day or the whole night until your battery runs out without compromising the startup engine or startup battery of your car. The wheels are Bradley 16-inch wheels paired with Mickey Thompson ATZs that are 22570 series, giving that tall and thin look for this vehicle. I was asked a while ago on what the PCD size is. So I finally know what the PCD size of this wheel is. 16 by 6, negative 6. So <laughs> I think it works perfectly in terms of offset as it looks uh, really nice for, uh, for the look. Pairing that suspension up is an OME uh, suspension with a 40 millimeter lift. We did put in the trim packers just to give it a little bit more push in terms of the aesthetic stance of it. But that rounds up the suspension and I think when I rode it, it's one of the most comfortable ones out there for a Jimny. Let's talk about performance. Since we are going to be towing a trailer with this Jimny, we've decided to add two main ingredients to give it a little bit more push. First of all, this is the first Jimny according to our friends from Constant Racing to have a Totally remappable ECU with a constant racing headers right here in front. You can see that. With a 2.5 inch pipe with a MagnaFlow exhaust on the back. So what that gives us is a little bit, uh, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, it's roughly 30 horsepower additional, which is a lot for a Jimny because it's quite small. It's not going to give you the most biggest performance, but it'll give you to maybe get you to 80 or 100 better than normal. So that is what we did for the performance. 
Number two that we added for the performance is we are running a DTE throttle controller. This one I love because also the DTE, whether or not you're running the headers or the turbo system, we've, uh, we put it on stock vehicles and it does give you a difference night and day in terms of acceleration, not because it added power, but it adds the responsiveness of the throttle, making you feel more powerful when you're running the car. So those are the two main things we added to give you more performance for this journey. Last but not the least, let's talk about the interior bits and pieces that I think are quite nice. First of all, the German Schillman seats give you extra comfort. I love these products for any of the cars that, you know, that need better seating and Jimny's one of them. Next, we have all the Exea products. You can see we have the Exea phone holders that fits right in the Jimny. We have another phone holder. We're just putting everything here so you can see. And uh, different options for your cup holders. Also like charging points that just, you know, will fit a, the center cup holders. Those are the stuff we add. We also have the Exea power window extensions that you can put there. And then also, if you can see the doorknobs, we do have the Exea doorknob catch here. That gives you, what do you call it? So that when you put your phone or anything that, that will fit there, it won't fall through, you know? Those are good things to have. We have removed the center console here for your armrest when you're, when you're moving around. I think that wraps it up for the interior of the car. But all of the, those little things you add, I think gives you a more exquisite driving experience. You know, it levels up the luxury and the convenience for this Jimny. Because you know, at the end of the day, the Jimny is a practical car. It's an efficient vehicle, but you know, it's quite utilitarian. So anytime you can add luxuries to make it a more comfortable drive, to be a more comfortable experience where you're inside, it's always a good thing to have. So those are the upgrades that we have inside the Jimny. So what we have to show you is the whole spec of the Jimny together with the trailer because that is the design. So let's move to the trailer and show you what it's about. What we have here is a manly trailer that we have paired up with the Jimny. So the decals are together with the Jimny 5 door. So it is a manly explore trailer. So let's check it out. We have put on Bradley tires to match the front of the Jimny that you know I think was wrapped in Toyo RT. So that's a good perfect combination for the look of the Jimny. The main thing we added is the Mammoth bed rack that we have here with the Mammoth boxes that has been customized by Overland Kings inside. And you can see we have all our little trinkets to make it a fun thing to look at. But basically, that means you can just put anything if you want, if you have any gear that you need to store, and it's completely waterproof. Up top, we have put the Eye Camper X cover together with the Mammoth 270 degree awning to give the full living space of what an Overland rig should be in the trailer of the five-board Jimny. Let's take a look at the other side. To round it up, on this side, we also have another box that contains all of our electrical systems that's paired up with this trailer. So what we have here is we have built our King's 500-watt inverter, King's 25-watt uh, DC-DC charger, which simply means that when you plug this to the Jimny, it will charge the trailer when the car is moving. We also have an exterior plug for solar panels, so if you do need to run an external solar panel, this will also charge through solar panels. Plugs and wirings, breakers to make sure all the dual battery systems are safe. And finally, we have also the shower system that you will just plug here to the bottom of the Jimny trailer, which carries it inside with 45 liters of water. Back here, to finish up the decals, we also branded it with a Jimny decal, Suzuki Jimny so that you'll be able to see the whole, you know, vibe of connecting everything together. On the tray, we have decked the matting with waterproof matting and also it's aesthetically pleasing to look at. Uh, just a little custom touch from Overland Kings. And finally, we have equipped the Jimny trailer with the most important part, which is the food when we're eating. Not the food, I mean when we cook the food. <laughs> so you've seen this in a lot of our builds. But basically, we've incorporated the kitchen drawer into the Jimny trailer. So in short, when we bring this whole trailer out with the Jimny, you could, if you'll be able to cook, you'll have your water system, you'll have your sleeping platforms, basically all together in one full, full setup. So that rounds up the, the Jimny trailer that we have. So what, who is this product for? What we wanted to show is, you know, a Filipino style of overlander really has its own taste, own feel of how we make our vehicles. We love our cars, so we should be able to express the way we like 
to build and use our cars. The way we built this Jimny is we wanted to build a lounge and we wanted to put, build all the overland gear into a trailer so that we could use it separately as a ground deployment unit. Meaning, if we're in a boondocks of Zambales or anywhere, we could deploy the trailer and still use the vehicle for if we're gonna trail, if we're still gonna go out. But in the meantime, if you're not using it, you still have your power, you still have your water, you still be comfortable even if you don't have your trailer with you. So guys, that is the rig walk around of the Jimny 5-door XL that we have. And we don't know what to call it yet, but basically this is our Overland Kings Ground Deployment Unit Series for the Transport Show 2024. Two rigs, two small and big rigs if we call it, but definitely unique and definitely custom. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm going to hit the end button here. I'm getting tired about it. But basically, thank you for joining this live stream. Oh no, joining this video. It's a video. Uh, it's a video. Thank you for joining the vlog of this uh, episode of Overland Kings Rig Builds. And again, this is Joel from Overland Kings and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.